Hey guys, so welcome to another gold challenge video. It's been a while. I was gone for a few weeks and and yeah, so this is our return back. We're back to our regular schedule every Tuesdays. And yeah, it wasn't um it wasn't too bad of a return week as far as making gold. So, let's go over to the spreadsheet. And I'll, you know, let you guys know what I did. Okay, guys. So this is this week's spreadsheet. And um, I missed a couple of days in there. You can see that the seventh is missing. And that looks to be the only day missing. So not too bad. So there was quite the break between this. I was gone for two weeks. This is our return. Not a bad return. Uh, the auction house has been really rough. Like, I, I don't know how you guys have been doing on the auction house, but I feel like I feel like the game is too dead to sell things. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I I know that sounds horrible to say, but I just get that feeling. I feel like no one's there. <laughs> you know? And so I've been selling stuff here and there, but nothing, nothing really good. And I have done so much better running the auction house in past years than I have, you know, this time. But with that said, we're still doing pretty good. Um, as you can see, the bottom number there I've almost hit the one mil so it's been a bit since I've been at one mil I used to for quite a few years one mil was like always the amount I stayed at and I always tried to not go under and then I think it was the end of Legion I just I'd gone so many years just banking gold and never spending it that I just said fuck it and started spending some of it. So it'll be nice to see it back up at one mil. So as you can see, the first day was the first day back. Didn't really do much, but I had sold the inflatable mount shoes, so made money off that. The inflatable mount shoes, I don't know why those things sell, but they seem to be the best seller for me at the moment. The reason I don't understand why they sell so well is because, if I'm not mistaken, they are literally the water walking mount, right? So I guess I just, uh, I, I just figure that everyone's got that shit. I guess there's a lot of people that didn't get that mount. I don't know. So it's really weird that it's selling good. It's not selling awesomely, but they do sell. It just takes a bit. Uh, so on the 6th, did emissaries. Didn't really make much that day. Uh, on the 8th, we did auctions. And made an okay amount, but not really our goal. And on the 9th, world quests. And... The 10th was definitely a negative day. I had done mount runs. At the end of the mount runs, I checked the auction house because I like to check on my enchanting patterns. And yeah, that, um, that ran us a hefty bill. And then on the 11th, I made uh, 200,000. That was... A gift basically uh, and a guildy of mine had uh, given me that to help with the mount and then on the 12th didn't really make much just a few world quests the top item I sold as you can see is the glyph of the forest path it's an inscription item and it it sold pretty good and as you can see, the top item bought was my enchanting pattern there. 
The jeweled mount has been a rough one. I can't believe how tough the panther mounts has been. You know, it's... Yeah, it's really weird. I thought the panther mount would sell like nothing. But, like, originally I wasn't even... I didn't, like, purposely make the jeweled panther. What I did is I was going to sell the different colors. And it took... I was sitting on, like, week three of trying to sell the regular mounts. So, on week three, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm just going to combine them all, make the jeweled panther. It's selling a little higher. There's less people selling it. And I'll just, you know, get my money that way. And it doesn't seem to matter what you sell it for. People just don't care about the panther. Maybe everyone's got it. I, I don't know. So that's a tough one. So I've come up with a, with a plan for the panther. It doesn't benefit me in any way, but it could benefit one of you guys. So the panther mount. I'm going to do my best to try to sell that, but we've been doing pretty good for followers. I'm really happy to see the channel growing at a pretty good pace lately. So when I hit 500 subscribers on the YouTube channel, which literally has taken so long, but whatever, whatever. When I hit the 500 subscribers, um, if I have not sold the Panther Mount, that will be our giveaway for doing um, 500 subs. I, uh, yeah, I'm, I told myself I was going to do it a while ago. I just didn't know what contest I was really going to run. So, um, so yeah, so I got until the channel hits 500 subs to sell that panther mount. Now, no matter what, there'll be a contest for the 500 subs. So if I do sell it, we can do something else. I have other mounts I can make so we can figure out some sort of contest. See, I'll make a poll and you guys can vote on it or whatever, but chances are it's going to be the jeweled panther cuz I don't I don't see that selling anytime soon. And then uh, Storm Silver Spurs I had sold as well. I believe that was the 8670 on the 8th. So they don't sell quite as good as the mount shoes, but um, but that's okay. So I'm not totally sure what I want to do. I was going to farm jellies, but now I'm like, I don't know. I just feel down that I haven't really sold as much as I want to. I don't know. This This gold farming shit is like... It's it's for the patient, and I'm just not patient at all, you know. Every time I've, like, farmed gold, it's just for... It's been for tiny little things, like not a 5 mil mount. <laughs> so my patient level just is not there. I want things to sell, like, when I put them up, and yeah. It's just so not there. And I don't want to farm, and yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But for you guys, I will continue it. Plus, I want the mount. <laughs> we will gain this 5 million gold, and uh, yeah. So, we are 20% there. 20% of the way there. Not very good, but... But honestly, it's not horrible either. I think that's within a month, maybe a little more than a month. And as you can see, weekly goal is 140,000. I achieved 197, 152. I'm hoping to have the Sky Golem done soon. 
I've slacked quite a bit on the Sky Golem this week. I only logged on to the Engineer once. I, I usually do it daily. So, yeah, and there was definitely some slacking going on there. So I'm probably not going to have the Sky Golem ready to be made till the end of the month. But, you know, we're trying. We're trying. And, yeah, so I'm not totally sure which way I want to go. I've... I've decided that the inflatable mount shoes, even although they are a pretty good seller right now, um, I've just decided that I don't want to continue making them because the materials to make them just doesn't equal the money. It just doesn't make it worth it. And, um, and the Panther, definitely not making more of those. You know, obviously, you know, you live and learn, and I thought that would be a better, better seller, and it just isn't. The Storm Silver Spurs, I just happen to have them on hand. They're not something I make. The Jellies, I don't know. I wish I could tell if lots of people are still farming that mount. Uh, yeah. I, I guess I could try... Because I'm at a loss with what to sell anyway. So I think this week we will we will try the jellies. However, this week might be a little nil because of the patch. I'm going to be doing a lot of patch stuff. So, you know, we can still make money while doing patch stuff. But to make, you know, 20k a day off of it, I, I don't know. But, um... But definitely, we're going to give the jellies a shot this week. That is going to be the main focus, and we'll see We'll see how those sell. Uh, I haven't sold those in probably a couple of months. It was shortly after they brought out the B mount. That's going to be our test for this week, and in the next gold challenge video, um, I will show you guys how well that panned out for us and we'll see if jelly farming is gonna be the way to go and as as you can see like 37,000 I guess is it it's not a whole lot of money but it's a lot of money to spend on something when you are trying to farm gold for a 5 million mount the the reason for that is those are patterns I've been looking for on the auction house for a really long time. I have I have this goal in mind for myself to have absolutely every single pattern for all my professions. And there's only a couple I'm missing for my enchanting and they're all like BC world drops. So um so yeah that was an important purchase in my mind. So, you know, just in case you're wondering, sitting there wondering why I would spend 37000 on a old, old, unusable enchant. And yes, I realize that is like a total crazy person goal to have set for yourself. To have every profession or every pattern in every profession because a lot of the old school patterns were very very rare boe drops so if you aren't lucky enough to loot them yourselves those are the kind of prices you pay for patterns that make you know level 50 gear or something <laughs> To be honest, 37k was like a bargain to me. I I thought they'd sell it for way more. I've seen some of those enchanting patterns sell for like a hundred thousand. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell, well, show you guys what I did. Uh, the main aspects I recorded. So this is the rogue here. This is the one that's making the Sky Golem, obviously. And I did bring the the characters back out to the garden out in Panda. But to be honest, 
I decided I'm just going to take a break from gardening <laughs> because they they were gardening pretty much from the very beginning when I decided to start this challenge. And with all of them doing the same stuff, I've got plenty of ore. So until I feel like I'm running out, I'm only going to do the gardening on the rogue. You know, that's the only one that really needs it and... Yeah. So, generally, generally I'm on the rogue. At the end of the weeks, I send all the, um, all the bars that I've made and stuff from the rogue over to the mage because the mage uses the trillium bars to make living steel for the uh, sky golem. And um, the Sky Golem's almost made. I think I need like two or three living steel and then I'm good to go. Which is pretty good because I just spent, what was it, like 16 living steel to make the jeweled mount. So, yeah. Transmuting is an awesome thing because um, cause back... In the Living Steel days, when that was like the current stuff, uh, you, as an alchemist, you you specified into a certain thing. You were either like a potion master or a transmute master, and I chose transmute. So because of that, I can proc pretty much anything. So, definitely helps on the materials with the living steel, because I'm not always just making one. And over here, this is just, I guess, the, the evidence, the proof of the purchasing, the enchanting. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, you know, a crazy goal I have set for myself. And... It's something I look at, and as you can see here, I bring up my full enchanting, you know, what's not learned thing, and you can see that I'm pretty much done. You know, like, I have almost all those recipes now, and there's very few left. And that top one, I've had the quest available to take for, like, ever. You know, all I have to do is just do that quest, and that top one will be done, but yeah. And uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, in case you're curious of what has worked and what hasn't, uh, basically, basically what what has worked is the shoes and feasts in the past have worked, and herbs if it's the Nashtar. So those are the three things that have worked. What has not worked that I've tried selling is the panther mount. Um, any other random food that wasn't a feast. Uh, gear did not sell. All, all the gear I made just ended up going into the guild bank. Uh, the, the weapons that you can make, those didn't sell either. So they ended up going in the guild bank. Uh, pets, if they're not level 25, they're not selling. I sold a few, but you really have to like work the auction house to sell those pets. Pets was the big one because I had a lot of pets I was trying to sell. And I did sell most of them, but it took a month of reselling every day to get all those pets sold. So it's definitely, definitely requires patience that I'm amazed I had. So, so that's, that's that. And like I said, this week I will focus jellies and, uh, and that's all I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the gold challenge and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.